Hello and welcome back to another Dream Weaver tutorial. This is video number 14 of the series. We are building a simple website step by step. We are not doing anything fancy. We just want to learn basic things and this is what we are doing. In last video we learned how to upload this website to a web server. The website is live now uh, and the URL is www my-uni.net my -uni you can actually type this URL onto your web browser and you'll access this website whatever has been built of it so far so we want to test the functionality of this form right now if you view this form in the in the Internet Explorer and press the submit button type this data in it's not gonna go anywhere because it is there's no coding behind it there's no instruction behind this form to send this data to a database or to an email address so pretty soon we will be creating a very simple PHP code in order to send this data to an email address okay first Thing. first thing first I want to give this form a name remember we decided to build this form with the help of an HTML code rather than using these these functions here these are very fancy functions but the idea was to learn a little bit of HTML as well anyway so this is if I select this here this red dotted rectangle click anywhere on this rectangle and this will select the form whole form in code view if you go to code view this is the form that is making this thing visible here on this page okay so first thing I want you to notice I'll, I'll be making some changes here in design view and I want you to notice what code has is being added so we will go to design view and first of all I want to select this and I want to go to window and I want to see the properties of the form okay I want to give this form an ID okay so I'll say uh, form 1 and I'll close this and if I go to code view this ID has been added to this form okay now I also want to create a field for the email address I want people to type in their email address and uh, I want to receive their email address as well along with all the information so if I have to send them a response I have their contact detail so in code view I want to so there's a line break here already I must have done it uh, so if I click this button and I'll say the ID of this this field is email and the label I'll say email again and I'll say okay where is the line break has gone okay uh, so there should be a line break here okay and I'll go to design view and I'll give one more line break here I'll go to code view again and and angle bracket open angle bracket forward slash and close angle bracket and your form should be formatted now okay I can also if I select this name field here okay and if I go to code view I can actually increase or decrease this size as well okay so I can say I can go to properties once again and I can say character with maybe 30 or maybe 20 or whatever if I say 10 and it has become very small if I say 30 it I can change the size of it and probably 20 is or 30 25 should be good enough okay same thing here I can select email uh, text field 
and I can see character with maybe 30 okay and the width and height of the message field we have already defined you can do a number of things from here as well and you can also change the text onto this button here so if you go to code view this is your submit button you can say value and double quotes double quotes and you can say go is equal to sign here okay and go to design view and you have this button that says go now you can change it to something else as well okay for example you can say click here to submit and you'll have a big button now saying click here to submit in case you can do a lot of things the next thing I want to do is to validate this form okay so I don't want people to send me an empty form I guess I want people to type in their name I want them to type an email address so we want to validate this form if you click this button here and go to window and you can also press F9 tag inspector and if you add a behavior to this code you can say validate form and these are the fields that are available in the form input name you want it required okay so people cannot send an empty field and we can go to input email and we want it required and we want it as a as an email address rather than number or anything else text area we want to say it required only okay so we have validated this form now and if you go to code view so this is the code that has been added to this if you don't have uh, Dreamweaver you can actually uh, look at this code here and you can validate your form manually by typing the code so go to design view so our form is uh, complete now it has been validated uh, we wanted all these fields uh, and we you want this text appear on the button and we have named our form which is also visible here so that's it for today in next video we will uh, write in a very simple PHP code and then we'll attach that code to this form okay so PHP code will be the instruction for this form to collect data and then send it to an email address. Uh, thank you very much for now. 